Welcome back! So two months of summer has gone by and I'm just looking back at my footage now and realize how little of it I filmed but being able to see my friends and family again, especially my sister who I haven't seen in over two years, it was a really good summer with lots of food, some baking and a few birthday celebrations and then going traveling to Vietnam for the first time, seeing Hanoi and just eating whatever I wanted. I realized it was really one of the best summers yet. I guess this is my last summer break before I graduate, before I'm no longer in the safety net of university. And I really took the time to relax and be in the present moment. I remember not thinking about school at all and embracing the nature and everything around me and of course especially the good company everything was quite magical but I realize it's September now and it's back to school season and as much as I'm dreading the all-nighters, the stressing out having to cook and look after myself again I am quite happy to be back back in my own company to be back in a city full of life and beers and seeing my friends who will accompany me on this very final semester of architecture school I hope it will be a good six months. So let's see where it takes us. Hello, welcome to my apartment again. I have been traveling for 29 hours plus four hours of train and I can't even talk anymore, but I need to unpack. I need to do my laundry, just sort this apartment out so that I'm ready for school, which is in two days and I'm quite jet lagged. I'm very tired. But yeah, this apartment is so empty. My luggage is just waiting for me. So let's go. <laughs> There's no space. We have to unpack three bags. The first one, the suitcase. The second one, my carry-on bag. And the third is my backpack. Where do we start? Should we Take out the things for laundry. 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 Hand wash. stare at you but last night I blew my car speakers so I think we might be through you say I'm itching for a listen babe I say I'm itching for a listen to she was tweaking started freaking out I said I know just what we can do what are you serious? I think I bought a fake pack of matches. I'm so confused. They look real. What the fuck? Someone translate what that means, please. What? There's like nothing. 
I'm so confused. too long doing this stupid thing where I have this calendar of mine that's kind of what is on my computer as well but I try to lay out all the events slash things I shouldn't miss for the day like not a to-do list or anything but stuff like title submission and then Saturday I have the market planned with some friends and then for example when the deadlines are and then when I have a meeting or when there's a book launch and friends birthdays that I should not miss and things like that and then on the other side I have all my semester dates so all my deadlines and when I have reviews and holidays and then I go and do my daily journaling plus a kind of to-do list for the day I do this for about 15 20 minutes which is way too long and then I go and start the actual work. research that goes into it. I would like to do more writing and research before I start but I think the research part is meant to be like one month long only. This week we have to hand in a problem formulation which is like everything that we should be doing for the rest of the semester. I feel like it's kind of hard to be reading all these papers and trying to, I don't know, 
merge everything into one formulation. I'm going crazy here. And yeah. Currently <clears throat> eating my leftover pasta in my pajamas already and I don't have a microwave so this is cold pasta. It's not bad. Welcome to my kitchen. I have so much washing to do. This is what happens when you live alone. You just don't do your washing. Like dishes I mean. And I don't have a dishwasher so everything takes so much time to wash and this is the only drying rack place I have and it's super small so yeah basically it takes me the whole day before I get any of my washing done but I have a rule for myself that is that it has to be gone by the time I sleep so that it's clean for the morning and it works that way Just a little recap on the rest of my work afternoon. Basically, I stopped being able to concentrate around like 4 p.m. That is when I should have just stopped. But I tried to keep working and I was getting nothing done. I was so distracted. I went to get chocolate. I went to clean the apartment and just do a whole bunch of random things. Realized that you can only work like concentratedly work. I think it's a scientific thing where you're only able to work for four hours or something straight and concentrated. I should have just stopped and like enjoyed my afternoon and do YouTube or do some drawings or something like that. And I really wanted to get back into drawing on my iPad. I started this Instagram account called Cutouts Cove during quarantine in Australia. And that was when I was selling prints and doing custom illustrations for people and it was so much fun and it was basically what got me through the whole I don't know year of quarantine I stopped doing that when I started my masters because just everything got so busy now I think it's I don't know time to get back into it the bakery downstairs my favorite bakery ever is closing so I wanted to draw them a little something and just like a little postcard kind of why not Dying. That's so sad. 